Do you recall how students of prophecy have been warning people for years that since the Vatican's child molestation scandal became well known, they had to do something to cover it up? I mean, the reason being is the tens of thousands of lawsuits are now totaling $4 billion so far. And so they got to figure out some way to normalize this. We have stated for literally decades, in order to normalize all this, they must first normalize homosexuality, since even Christian prophecy predicts the priest would be homosexuals. Normalizing homosexuality is a must for Rome, as it would allow them to, number one, make the Christian God look bad while claiming to stand as Christian leaders, as prophecy predicts they're going to do all along. And number two, normalizing it would allow for the dollar amounts in those lawsuits to lower once society places less of a taboo upon it. And when they finally normalize pedophilia, those lawsuits are going to just become a thing of the past, which will then open the floodgates of Vatican decadence into society in a way that makes even their wicked past seem less of a problem, if that's even believable. As we stated years ago, after they legalize homosexuality, they would also have to normalize polygamy so as to test the waters to see if they have sufficiently lowered the morals of the people because molesting children is a lot worse than homosexuality or polygamy. But if they can get society to agree to those two things, well, then it's just going to be an easy task for them. And so after homosexuality was legalized, we all know how Hollywood offered their promotional powers in airing reality shows wherein polygamists were allowed to film and promote their lifestyles as the norm without so much as a slap on the wrist. And since both these long expected events have come to fruition, as students of prophecy have declared would happen, this was all done to make pedophilia appear not so bad to the majority who have finally become silent in all this. Check this out. France sets 15 as legal aids of sexual consent after outcry over cases involving 11-year-olds. It says here in the article, after public consultations and the recommendation of a panel of experts, the government has decided to set the age at 15. The issue was brought to the fore after critics and lawmakers said French laws had allowed two men to escape rape charges when they were accused of sex with underage girls. Me thinks those judges had some political insight information so as to allow that to happen. But in other words, instead of actually doing the right thing and putting those men behind bars, they figure they're just going to change the laws to make it legal. If you read on in the article, you will see many European states are in agreement here, and some even want the age of consent lowered to 13, if you can believe it. Well, thanks to the Vatican's inspired Quran, wherein pedophilia has been sanctified, having it spread throughout Europe, it's going to be an easy task, to say the least. And so as expected to make all this appear as no big deal to the majority, homosexual marriage became legal, making the Bible appear hateful, of course, and then unbelievable when it declares homosexuality to be an abomination unto God. And now that polygamy has been promoted for years to lower the moral standards of millions, the French government has announced that pedophilia will be legalized in France in the coming weeks. And some say Christian prophecy is a joke. The only ones laughing now are those refusing to see the truth in all this, as it was revealed to the letter in the very Bible that they strangely claim is an outdated book. How can it be outdated when it's declaring what's happening right now? One last thing. Right before I was getting ready to upload this, this article came across my desk. Check it out. It says that Facebook actually asks users if it's okay for adults to sexually harass kids. Now, if you scroll down, it shows the survey and everything like that. But down here, it says Facebook has since stopped running the surveys. And Facebook's VP of product said they were a mistake. Now, they could claim it's a mistake all they want. The survey was obviously typed up and set up in a way to ask the question. So it wasn't a mistake. It was just bad timing. Like I said earlier. They're testing the waters to see how bad the morality is in any given nation so that they can push forward with this pedophilia worldwide so as to help Rome look better in the eyes of billions for doing what they deem as acceptable. Thank you for watching. God bless.